The Adventures of Jungle Jim. A complete radio episode based on the action pictures and characters of the same name that appear every Sunday in the Comic Weekly. Under cover of the deep tropical night, a strange scene is taking place. A huge Navy privateer bomber has been sent to the aid of Jungle Jim and his stranded guerrilla raiders. Knowing that the island is in Japanese hands, the bomber was handicapped by the total blackness of the night. An explosion of hidden Jap gasoline supplies provided the beacon they needed, but only at the cost of the life of one of Jim's most brilliant men, the affable young Chinese-American Tom Sun. Now having rounded up the exhausted remnants of his command, Jim has herded them with agonizing slowness aboard the waiting privateer. Sleepless, gaunt-eyed, and hungry as they are, the raiders are well aware that their danger is anything but finished, for a squadron of Japanese night fighters hovers overhead, determined to find and exterminate the rescuing bomber. Huddled into the personnel compartment of the plane, Jim and his friends watch apprehensively as the great plane takes off. That pilot says we're carrying quite a load, Jim. You think we'll make it? We've got to make it, that's all. Uh, is the uh, pilot aware of Japanese warships are waiting us overhead? Yeah, he knows they're up there, even if we can't see them. Let us uh, not talk loud. Fancy and others catch them plenty tired. Need them sleep. <laughs> Don't worry, Colo. They could sleep through an earthquake. Yeah, and the way our luck's been running lately, they may have to. Truly, uh, we have been afflicted with almost every other disaster. Say, did you feel that? We're off the water at last. Heading away from that blasted island at last. The uh, island in Mutsubusuk. Bad place. Uh, I'd like to come back someday and blow it off the face of the earth. Only good thing us find on island been Piram Jin from Hollywood. Mike here doesn't even think finding Jane was so good, Colo. Who, oh, me? Why do you say that? <laughs> Why, indeed? Well, every time you two get within ten yards of each other, you fight like a couple of Kilkenny cats. The middle of a war is no place for a babe. Especially a five-alarm movie star like Jane. I uh, cannot pretend to understand your Western standards, but I have found her intelligent as well as engaging. Yeah, she's engaging the bombardier with a lot of fool questions right now. Uh-huh. You're not by any chance a little jealous, are you, man? Jealous? Me? That's a laugh. Uh, didn't wait for you not be laughing, boy. <laughs> oh, you guys, give me a pain. <laughs> boy, everything's so cramped in here, it's a swell place to go on a diet. Get the bombardier all straightened out on how to do this job, Jane? Ixnay on the axe, Cray, Irk, Jay. He's a swell kid. Showed me some how some of the Bombay gadgets work. But how come we're not climbing, Jim? Uh, the pilot knows what he's doing, Jane. Sure he does. I just wondered, that's all. Uh, the uh, pilot is aware of Japanese night fighters above us, Jane. Oh. But if they spot us skimming over the water this way... that been big chance us got to take, Biram. Too dangerous to go up, so we're staying down. Uh-huh. And our range is so much bigger than theirs that you figure we'll shake them off, is that it? Oh, it isn't us, but the pilot figures something like that, and uh, he's the doctor. Well, if we can get past Mushiro Island, we ought to be okay. Mushiro? Yes, uh, there is a sizable Japanese base on Mushiro Island. Well, no chance of bypassing it, I suppose. No chance. Jap night fighters. Not much chance of climbing over their anti-aircraft range either, for the same reason. Then we're doing just dandy, aren't we? We can't climb, and once we get near this Mushiro, we can't stay down either. That's about it. Never a dull moment. And we just have to sit here and wait for it? Isn't there anything we can do? Just take it as it comes, Jane. And hope for a break. That... That just doesn't make sense. No? Why not write a letter complaining to your congressman? I'll do more than that, beginning with you. Now, forget it, both of you. This crew knows its business. If anyone can get us through... They can. Just so those night fighters don't spot us, we ought to have a... Oh, hey, hey, watch uh, out! I couldn't help it. Hey, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, give me your hand, Jay. What? What's been happening? Oh, we're climbing like the devil was on our trail. Right. Only not just one devil. They spotted us. That whole Jap squadron is moving in on us. 
In a desperate attempt to gain altitude, the powerful Navy bomber streaks upward into the very midst of the attacking enemy fighters. Can even the nimblest wits overcome the odds against them? We'll see in a moment. Meanwhile, if your own wits are nimble, you'll want to join the 15 million satisfied readers who count on the Comic Weekly for big-time entertainment every Sunday. Its thrilling full-color pages bring you such super features as Flash Gordon, Prince Valiant, and Buzz Sawyer, the famous comedy teams of Jiggs and Maggie, Blondie and Dagwood, Barney Google and Snuffy Smith, yes, and Skippy, the kid philosopher, Judge Puffle, the amiable ne'er-do-well, that mysterious daredevil, the Phantom, all told, more than two dozen all-star features. Fifteen of the nation's leading Sunday papers distribute the comic weekly all over the country. One of them brings it to this city. Ask for that paper every week at your dealers. You'll recognize it by the figure of Puck and the name, the Comic Weekly, at the top of the front page. Now back to a one-sided sky battle and Jungle Jim. <laughs> How many of them are there? Never mind that, Mac. There are enough. Don't worry. You can't even see them till they're right on top of us. On top, behind, also under, below. Sing. Help me open this medicine locker, will you? It is locked. No, no, just stuck. We have to pry it. Uh, here. Okay. Now, grab some of these sulfur powders. What about blood plasma? Wouldn't hurt to get some ready, Jane. Here, let me help. Frenchy, crawl back to the tail gunner and see if he's all right. Sing, you come with me. Down here, Jim. The radio operator. Is he conscious? Uh, one moment. Oh, look. They've knocked out his whole panel. Worse than that. What? Is he? Yes. Help me with him. Oh, gently now, see. Even if he can't feel anything. Get down, Jim. I'm okay. Let us test his gun. The bell is quite warm. Give it a try. It is unhurt. Help me reload it. Get the clip open. Oh, look down there. One of them is falling in flames. Good riddance. You ready? Yes. Uh, put the belt in. These things weigh something, don't they? Quickly. The hunter of the is coming. All set. Close her up. Now, Jim, there he is. Blasted. It's so dark you can't get a decent crack at him. Uh, he will be back. Uh, you will have further opportunity. Hey, listen. Sounds like one of them's in trouble. Uh, let us hope it is fatal. Oh, oh, hang on. We are dropping. We're going to a spin in a minute. Can you grab my leg and pull yourself up? Don't. Don't. Don't let go, see? Gotta. Gotta reach that cockpit. That's it. Do not try to stand yet. Stand it. That's all I can do to... There. There, I can hang on to the bulkhead still. Pull, pull yourself up now. Uh, I am trying to... Just pull us enough to yank your arms out of the sockets. Uh, mine have already undergone the experience. So... Uh. Don't, don't try to stand up, but help me get this bulkhead open. Can you reach the catch? I think so, yeah. Yeah, now, give it a shove with your shoulder. Yeah, it is giving. Yeah, I can feel it give. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Keep working at it. Now, go, go ahead, Jim. If I can just get that, get over to that stick. Is this stick frozen? I can't tell, do I? Oh, this thing is frozen solid. Now, wait. Maybe I can... It's coming. No, no more. There. That... It was a close thing, that. Yeah. Hey, look. Oh, they got the pilot and the co-pilot, too. You can manage it now? I think so. Hannah's like a baby now. She's under control. What... Hey, what happened to those Jap night fighters? Searchlights ahead make answer all too plain. Search them. 
Monsieur O'Island. As the night fighters are laying back to remove cells from range of island and the aircraft batteries. We must climb, Jim. Climb beyond the range. Oh, we wouldn't have a prayer, sink. We're too near the island. Besides, those meatballs are still up there waiting for us. But, Jim, the searchlights will easily pick us up at this altitude. And once they do... Okay. We won't stay at this altitude. We'll get down. We'll skim over the island at treetop level to make it tough for them. Uh, had uh, best to inform others of the fact. No use. The intercoms must shout out, too. They'll just have to hang on. Well, then I had uh, better take the co-pilot seat. Okay, help yourself. Hey, look, there go the searchlights. Here's where we sweat it out, see? They are firing blind at the sound of our engines. Well, if their radar is any good, they'll pick up our range. Don't worry. They are coming closer now. Okay. Let's give them a little change of pace. Chug ho, Jim. They are trying to lay a pattern, but it is over our heads. What about those searchlights? They still sweep the skies, but they are behind us now. As soon as we put some distance between us, I'll try going upstairs. But if so, snake fighters. Say, Lee, you all right? Yes. I, I seem to be still in one piece. But we were hit, Jim. It sure felt like it. But it's funny that... Uh-oh. This starboard engine, it is on fire. Push that red button, Sing. Give us oxygen. I'll try to feather the prop. Oh, but certainly we will gain no altitude now. No. We'll have to head for home and pray for a break. Well, the fire is dying now. We we'll just hope none of those night fighters spotted our position from it. If they did, we will be as easy a target as a sitting duck. All we can do is wait and see. They have not cut them gas enough for circle around till morning. Any chance there'd be a code book aboard, Nack? Oh, no, not when they knew we were heading for a landing in Jap waters. All fellas who know in code, they've been killed. Yeah, two pilots, the navigator, the bombardier, the radio operator. And two of the waste gunners. But those Jap night fighters knew they'd been in a scrap. Yes, even so, but when you lose men as good as they were... What was all that about? About us. And they didn't fool with any code either. Wait here. Maybe so, them been guests that's be in trouble. No way for help. Oh, hey, Mac. Yeah? Any chance of repairing our radio transmitter? Not without a whole shop full of equipment. But I just heard from the base again, Jim, and this time they gave it to me in plain English. What do they say? They're leery because we don't answer. They're not sure, but what we're Japs who swiped this plane back at the island. Oh, I was afraid of that. Jim, they say that if we don't respond and identify ourselves, they'll open up on us. But how can we with our transmitter on the fritz? Still other adventures with Jungle Jim are waiting for you every Sunday in the brilliant full-color pages of the Comic Weekly. That's the name of America's favorite funnies, you know. It comes to you at 15 outstanding Sunday papers from coast to coast, and it brings exciting thrills and friendly chuckles to 15 million readers every week in the year. So start this Sunday to read the Sunday paper in this city that includes Puck, the Comic Weekly. We invite you to join us again next week for another radio episode starring Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.